Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's us once again. We're back. It's John. It's Nick. We are the, the Hollywood, Hollywood Outsiders. Outsiders. Today, we'd like to talk about a special time of year. It's springtime ah. for Hitler and Germany. Sorry. No. So, we're spring gonna, preview, baby. Spring preview. Spring preview. We're talking about the big movies that you got to see during March, April, and May. That is the springtime. Springtime. Yes. What so, do we got coming out this spring, John? We got a lot. But these films, we've gone through this, we've mulled it over. Oh, yes. We've, we've done the research. Mm -hmm. And these films, these are the movies that you got to see this spring. Got to. You just Starting gotta. on March the 4th. March 4th. The Adjustment Bureau. The Adjustment Bureau. Sci-fi thriller with Matt Damon and Terrence Stamp. I can I can give it you know what I can take or I can leave Matt Damon but I do love Terrence Stamp there he was go. Zod in he Superman too he was he was very good at Zod. he was very good at Zod March the eleventh the March next 11th. week the next week one week later you only got one week and then you got to be ready to go again boom but then you got to see two movies uh oh Battle Los Angeles really yeah that's gonna be cool. It's the first big eye candy slam bang, blow some shit up and eat popcorn and go woo, movie of the year. Okay, you know what else comes out that week? Hmm. Now don't even get like all eh, about this one. This movie is a true story. Is it based on a true story and they're actually keeping to the true story, or is it yes. like that horrible social network where they're? We don't have this isn't not net. Zippy. We shall not speak of that movie ever again. Hmm. True story. Kill the Irishman. I am extremely excited I about know. that film. I'm Irish myself. I've I got a, quite a bit of Irish in me. A great cast. Great Check story. This Check Just this out. Lay it on them. It's a true story. Takes place in uh, summer of 1976 in Cleveland. Cleveland. Where the hell do you get mafia in Cleveland? Oh, but, but it's, they're what? there. So the mafia, the Italian mafia, is in Cleveland mm -hmm. in 1976. And along comes uh, this real-life guy. He's an Irish mobster named Danny Green. And Danny Green says, you know what? I don't want no damned Italian mafia in my town. I'm an Irishman. You can't kill me. And you know what? They can't. They can't. They've got the... Look at, listen to this. Christopher Walken. Hello. Come on. It's crazy. Val Kilmer. Holy crap. He's the wingman this time. Val Kilmer. And Vincent D'Onofrio. Doesn't get any you better got, than you that. You got those three guys trying to kill you and they can't do it? It's a, it's impossible. It's amazing. Well, that's March 11th. March 11th. What's going on on March 18th? March 18th. A highly anticipated movie I've been waiting for. They uh, premiered a uh, small little snippet of this film back at uh, Comic-Con in 2010. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, it's called Paul. It's a sci-fi, raunchy comedy starring uh, those lovable Brits, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Oh. From Shaun of the Dead Shaun and, the and Dead. Uh, uh, Hot Fuzz. He was Scotty in Star Trek. He was also Scotty in Star Trek. Uh, follows uh, the two best friends taking a cross-country trip uh, through the United States, want to see Roswell. They find an alien on the way, help him out. Chased by evil government agents, placed by, played by Jason Bateman, and the evil overlord boss of them all, Sigourney Weaver. Ripley's the bad guy. It's Come on, it's, it's one of those movies where you're just going to laugh out loud, maybe even pee yourself a little bit. Just, just a little tinkle. After that, the After week that. the week later, you got a week March twenty fifth. Get ready for it. Sucker punch. Sucker punch. Is this, this not like the reason for green screen? This this movie has been talked about for yeah. almost a year. They've kept a lot of things under wraps. Okay. Only recently, within the last few months, have they actually uh, shown uh, the stills. They released two different trailers. The first trailer is better than the uh, the recent trailer, but uh, the trailer just makes this film look like. You, you walk into this movie. This is the popcorn movie. This is the movie where you're just going to be blown away, and you're going to want to go right back into theater and I'm see gonna, it. I'm going to put a little star next to that. Yes. Star. Guess what? Hmm. Now we're up to April 1st. April 1st. Ooh. Moving right along. That's April Fool's Day. Yeah, it is. Guess what? 
What do we got? We're starting it off with a great new horror movie. Ooh, I love horror. I do too. What do we got? This is from the makers of Saw and Paranormal Activity. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting combination of uh, folks. Yeah, I know. It's called Insidious. Mm. Insidious. Sounds insidious. Insidious. I saw the trailer, and I got to tell you, I, I, I'm a little scared. You're just a little scared? Yeah. So it's 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 the uh, the the young couple with the, with their son uh, move into the house. Uh, all kinds of strange goings on start happening. Uh -oh. Ooh. I don't like it when that happens. And then they think the hot well the house is haunted. Right? House is haunted. House is haunted. Okay. So then they bring in the 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 haunted house people. Ah. And uh, and ghost then they, hunters. Then they find out the house isn't haunted. It's the sun. Uh oh. Hey. What's going on on April 8th? Oh, April 8th. The movie that I've been waiting for for the last six months, ever since they released a trailer for it. A Red Band trailer, no less. Ooh. From the makers of I like Pineapple. Red Band yes, yes. Red Band trailers are great. They say bad words. From the makers of Pineapple Express, we have Your Highness. Yeah. A, a dirty adult comedy set in medieval times. It's like. It's like a, a version of Army of Darkness for the New Age right. without any of the time traveling or yeah. boom sticks or yeah. things like that. Uh, it's, it, it looks like a hilarious movie, jam-packed, filled with stars. If you haven't seen the trailer, go to YouTube or IMDb, check out one of the trailers, the Red Band trailer or the regular trailer. Your choice. Go for the Red Band. The Red Band trailer is funnier. You'll get an idea of what to expect. If you watch the Red Band trailer. But yes, definitely highly anticipated movie, at least in my book. Cannot wait to see it. Hey. Hmm. You get your taxes done? I still have time. Taxes are due on April 15th. Don't say tax day. Don't say it. You know what? You know what happens on that day? What happens on that day besides something, me crying? Something far more important than, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. You take Uncle Sam. And now you look at him from a different way, through the eyes of filmmaker Robert Redford. Robert Redford has a film coming out on tax day? Yeah! It's, Tell me about this film, John! It's called The Conspirator. Ooh. ooh. Sounds conspiracy -y. It is. It's a period drama. Period drama, okay. About the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln? And then Lincoln, the man that invented Lincoln Logs. Right, the guy who's on the penny. Right. Hmm. So, it's a conspiracy movie about the assassination of President Lincoln, and okay. then the courtroom drama that takes place afterwards, as they're basically on a witch hunt to try and get somebody's ass into court and blame yeah. them for this. James McAvoy, okay, Tom Wilkinson, wow, Kevin Klein, Kevin Klein, Kevin Klein's in a St. movie. Saint Louis his own Kevin Klein. You know he, you know what he did. He did a lot. He made the Kevin Klein Awards. He did. He is responsible for that. Robin Wright Penn. Eh. Ooh. She's done one good movie. Right. Princess Bride. I wasn't talking about that. I was just talking about Robin Wright. Meh. Yeah. She's got a face. Uh, did I mention Tom Wilkinson? You did. Okay. This looks like a good movie. All right. This looks good. I'll this, take your word for it. This might be the first movie in 2011 that people start kind of giving a little Oscar talk to. Really? I mean, you got a cast like that. You got you got you got a true story, mm -hmm. and it's uh, Robert Redford does not make. Yeah, it's he Robert makes, Redford. He makes good movies. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know what else happens on that day? Yes, that day that we will not speak of. That horrible day. Ooh, we got another horror movie on tax day. Yeah. What's it called? Well, I got to tell you, I uh, the hell with it. Scream Four. You know what? I am anticipating this movie like a virgin on prom night. I was a fan of the original either. Scream. Really good or really bad? And well, it all depends on who your prom date is. Or who the virgin is. Yeah. I, I was a huge fan of the original Scream, part mm -hmm. two and part three. Eh. Scream four appears to be Scream one. For the new generation. The rules have changed. Scream <laughs> 1. Scream 1 set up the rules for a horror movie. Yeah. But 
Horror has changed so much since that first original movie that now Scream 4, the rules have changed. I'm listing this movie as my morbid curiosity of the spring movie. Hmm. You got anything going on on April 22nd? Nope. You like conspiracy? We've done another conspiracy movie? We've gotten yeah, one yeah, already. Yeah, well, this is bigger and better. Oh, yeah? What is it? Hey, I don't believe for a damn minute that Neil Armstrong walked on the moon in 1969. I don't. Okay. You know what happens? What? On April 22nd? What? Apollo 18. You're saying to yourself, wait a minute, there was no Apollo 18. That's what the government wants you to think. Uh huh. December 17th, 1972. Four brave American souls left terra firma to set foot on the moon. What did they find there? What did they find? I don't know, but I'm sure that if I went through your library, I'd find a copy of The Catcher in the Rye. Yeah, a couple. Uh, <sighs> basically, it's one of these things where they... Uh, Apollo 18 never actually, you know, according to the government, never officially happened. This movie is making the, the presumption that it did happen, and the reason the government doesn't want you to know it happened is because there's a monster on the moon. No, oh, there's a moon monster. Moon monsters. Somebody give Ed Wood a call. Moon doggy. And so this is the found footage <laughs> from the Apollo 18 mission. Now, we're kind of being tongue-in-cheek and talking about this. Yes. But if you watch the preview trailer, it does actually look like it could be a really... It could either be a lot of fun or a serious paranormal activity to waste of time. We shall see. We shall. We shall. So, uh... Is there anything going on after that? Something maybe the first week in May? <laughs> first week in May? Thought first was, week in May. I thought there was a little movie... First week in May. Some kind of a mythological thing going on. Lightning strikes, baby! Here we go. Thor, yeah. God of Thunder. May 6th. This the beginning it. of an epic. Thor, he's got a hammer. he would kick your ass. That's all you gotta know. So it all fits, yes. Marvel begins this summer. Thor, baby. Thor. It's all in preparation for next year's Academy Award winning film, The Avengers. The Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna sweep the Oscars, baby. All right. Hey, anything uh, going on? You got anything else for me? Then, a few weeks later, yes, you have some time. To catch your breath after Thor. You get to watch it four or five times. Watch NASCAR, too. You know. Then you go back to the theaters and you see the highly anticipated fourth film, Pirates of the Caribbean on Strange Tides. Yes, a Pirates movie that does not have Orlando Bloom or Keira Knightley in it. Thank you. I'll, uh... Those two ruined that last film. I'll, I'll be sitting at, uh... Home. Oh, you can sit at home. I love Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. We have Jeffrey Rush returning as Captain Barbosa. And the great, talented actor Ian McShane as Blackbeard. Mm. Can't wait. Pirates, yes, pirates, yeah. Pirates 4. Whatever. Um, and then... And then, and then, to top off the spring, the end of the spring, we're going with a big finish. Big finish. The big. sequel to the most critically acclaimed comedy of 2009. One of the funniest damn movies I've ever seen. The first rated R comedy in history to be a mega grossing blockbuster. Is that real? It, yes. Huh. Yes. I, I saw it on the Ellen DeGeneres show. The Hangover Part 2! Part 2. The Wolf Pack back is, is back, back, baby. Yeah. That's right. Cannot wait to oh, see this God. film. I, I'm still kind of sore from laughing from the first time. I don't know if it can be as good Probably as not. the first one. Probably, Probably not. Right. Most sequels are not. 
but I'm hoping that it at least uh, has a little bit of the splendor that was in the first. Right. I agree. So there's your spring countdown. That's it. That's going to lead you right into the summer where there's even more bigger and beautiful movies coming our way. Hey, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? To help you out. To help the viewer at home. Because we just threw a whole lot of information at them. That's a lot of info. I I'm going to take our list mm -hmm. and I'm going to post it on the website. The spring movie preview list will be on the Hollywood Outsiders website. Yes. Check it out. Yes. And here's the address for that. Ooh. Spiffy. You like it? I love it when you do that. I still like that. So yeah, we'll put the ad we'll put this up there and uh and then you can, you know, you can mark your calendar and Yes. Feel free to uh visit uh any number of websites on, on the net to see the trailers to these films to make yeah. your own personal opinions. We're just two dudes. We have per you know personal tastes. Yeah. You may not feel the same. So watch the trailers. That's what they're there for. Uh -huh. Or you can you know just stay here on YouTube and uh, yeah. they usually have tons of uh, trailers put up there. You're here. You're already here. Just yeah. type it. Type it into the little box up there and you know go to town. Watch Check it. out some trailers. Tell your friends. Make it a movie night. Hey, and tell your friends. Uh, you know they gotta watch. Uh, they gotta watch this show too. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're all right. Check us out. Hey, we're back. You know. We're back. Season this two, is, baby. This is like two episodes in a row. So. Bada boom, bada bing. We're we're doing the thing. All right. Well, we will definitely be checking out these yeah. spring movies, yeah. and we will keep you posted on the summertime. We're gonna do a summer movie preview, so don't worry about that. You know we're gonna do that. We oh, did that yes. last year. That was a big deal. It was a big deal. So yes, lots of big things coming up. We're glad to be back. Yes. We hope you are, too. Until next time, I'm Nick. I'm John. And we are the Hollywood Outsiders. You're damn right we are. <laughs>